You folks have heard me talk a lot about these over the years. These Moringa seeds. Moringa seeds are very medicinal. I want to make sure I make a quick note of this before you go and purchase them thinking it's the same thing. Moringa powder and Moringa seeds, although they come from the same tree, they provide different medicinal benefits to the body. The Moringa seeds are so powerful that me and my family depend on them. We actually have gone through plenty of cleanses, body cleanses, because of the Moringa seeds. Here's what we've done. We replaced our apricot seeds with Moringa seeds. And everyone have heard that apricot seeds, you know, kills parasites and they're anti-cancer and so forth. Well, they are. If provided that you could find apricot seeds that hasn't been highly sprayed with pesticides and chemicals that can have a negative effect on you, your health. So we do have an apricot tree in our backyard here. And the seeds are wonderful if you could dry them. We don't do that with our apricot tree. We tried that, it just doesn't work. After further research, you can only do that with specific cultivars of apricots. Not all, because so many apricot trees today are hybrids. So instead, after so much research and research and research, and sometimes they spend nights, I'll tell you something right now. The tree of life, there are so many different names that this tree is known by. Morungai, Morungay, and many other names. But the tree of life, the Moringa tree, provides a substantial amount of macros and micros, vitamins, minerals, and trace elements. I would put Moringa above um, what you folks love to call sea moss. I'm just not a fan of sea moss. I just do not believe that we had to dive into the water to get our food. That's not how it's designed. There was no such thing as sea moss in the Garden of Eden. But we're not going to go there. Let's stick to this. We know about the benefits. We know what it does. But what people don't know and don't understand is this is a parasite cleanse. This kills parasites. And you can eat up to 10 a day, 10 a day. Some people talk about the strong pungent and then that sweetness at the end. And it does linger. It lingered. And it took me a second to get used to this years ago. But one of the things I do do with my Moringa, I take raw honey that I harvest from my backyard. And I take a half a teaspoon with chewing my Moringa seeds goes down flawlessly, no aftertaste, but the perfect combination, and voila. I always look at Moringa seeds like little popcorns. They're crunchy and they're good. They really are. They're just very strong. And so if you're not used to that, you're forewarned. But when it comes to parasites, one of the things I noticed right away when I started consuming my Moringa seeds, I poop so cleanly and so, what's the word I want to look for? It flows. You can feel it coming from the intestines down to your rectum and just flows. And that's a wonderful thing when you can poop and get it all out of you, okay? And some people have had the experience of eating too much Moringa and having diarrhea. This happens to those who have symptoms, uh, systems that are not used to such seeds. So take in one or two and build up over the next few weeks so your body can be acclimated to it. But if you want to purchase these Moringa seeds, definitely click on the link in my bio and you want to go directly to the tab that says Moringa. It's the first tab. And when you click on that, you can buy your Moringa. I suggest you buy the powder and buy yourself some seeds. I'm going to come back with part two and part three. I'm going to explain to you the experiences that I've had over the years. You folks got any questions, put them in the link below 
and we'll go from there.